and welcome to our new segment on Immigration Talks. My name is Hank Budwell, your friendly neighborhood visa advisor here at Enhanced Visa. Well, we're about halfway through 2020 and can you believe that? It's just amazing how quickly time flies. Well, though it may seem like things are they stand still right now, as we continue to remain at home for our safety, well, things are actually continuing to move forward. In fact, as we welcome the latter half of this year, 2020, I want us to take a look at how Canadian immigration continues to move forward despite the setbacks from the coronavirus pandemic. Well, by the way, just a quick reminder, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel and smash that bell icon to turn on notifications for more of our content. Now, let me begin. Well, if you're a regular viewer, you might already be familiar with the changes that Canadian Express Entry has undergone since the beginning of the pandemic. But for those of you who are joining us for the first time, let me give you just a quick recap. Well, Canada began 2020 with high hopes of uh, or for immigration. After welcoming 341,100 immigrants in 2019, actually exceeding their initial 2019 and 2021 immigration levels planned by 10,000 newcomers. In fact, on February 19, 2020, Canada held the largest draw in express entry history, inviting over 4,900 candidates in just a single draw. Not long afterward, on March 12, newly elected Immigration Minister Marco Mendicino announced Canada's 2020 and 2022 immigration levels plan to invite over 1 million new residents by 2022, most of whom are slated to arrive through express entry. Now, express entry began the year on a high note, but as the year progressed, the coronavirus uh, pandemic became more of a pressing issue. So Canada then made an announcement on March 18 to protect its citizens and residents. So on March 18, the government of Canada announced that they would be restricting foreign travel and closing their borders in order to stem the spread of COVID-19 within the country, leaving the future of immigration quite uncertain for many hopeful applicants. However, despite of that uncertainty, Canada continued to allow entry to immediate family members, international students who received their visa approval on or before March 18, and temporary foreign workers. Uh, the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, or IRCC, were also quick to reassure aspiring migrants to continue submitting their applications and put on special measures for immigration. Now, despite changing drastically, express entry draws have continued to persist as well. Just as um, Minister Mendicino believes that immigration is the key to economic recovery. Ain't that a wonderful news for us aspiring uh, migrants? Well, by the way, express entry draws have changed quite a lot since March. In fact, prior to the pandemic, express entry would hold all program draws every two weeks, inviting candidates from categories from uh, FSWP or the Foreign Skilled Worker Program and the FSTP from the Federal Skilled Trades Program and the CEC and Canadian Experience Class. Now, by the way, it's also interesting to note that since March 18, all express entry draws have been targeted, inviting candidates only from uh, the Canadian Experience Class or the CEC or those who qualified for the Provincial Nominee Program or the PNP. Now, consequently, the PNP and the CEC draws have been held back to back within a day of each other every two weeks with four draws every month. In fact, this recent trend has also seen the Comprehensive Ranking System or CRS scores lowering with each draw. That is, with the most recent draw inviting candidates from the CEC class with scores as low as 431. 
man, that is low. And as the PNP or Provincial Nominee Program candidates automatically receive an additional 600 points if they qualify for a provincial nomination. So this downward trend has not applied to PNP's uh, draw scores. Now, through their, uh, or I should say, though their draws have been affected by COVID-19, however, provincial or the provinces continue to hold express entry link streams nominating hopeful applicants. Now, recently, most provinces have focused on inviting candidates who already have the experience working in essential sectors such as healthcare. And it is highly probable that express entry draws have continued to target the PNP and CEC categories as these candidates are more likely to have already settled in Canada and would not be affected by travel restrictions due to, due to the pandemic. Now, as of June 25, 2020, there have been over 21 express entry draws, more than the number of draws held in the same time frame in 2019. It's very interesting. Now, Canada has also sent out more invitations to apply or the ITAs than they did this time last year. Having released only 41,800 ITAs in June 2019, compared to the 49,900 ITAs as of June 2020. Now, given the pandemic, I say that is remarkable. That is remarkable. Now, as Canada extends their travel ban, it is likely that express entry will continue to target candidates in the PNP and the CEC categories. Despite the uncertainty surrounding other categories, aspiring immigrants should remain hopeful that Canada will continue to invite immigrants into their borders. The IRC continues to encourage applicants to submit their applications online. The IRCC has chosen as well to accept incomplete applications and even extend deadline up to 90 days for applicants who are unable uh, to obtain all the necessary documents that they need. Nevertheless, it is important for us to always bear in mind that Canada continues to emphasize the importance of immigration and immigrants in the country's recovery process. Even as others keep their borders firmly closed, Canada firmly believes that immigration is the key. It is the key to the country's recovery and the country's prospect of a bright future. That is absolutely wonderful news. Well, and that concludes this week's update. I just want to thank you for taking the time to listen to what I wanted to share with you today. And um, as you're considering making Canada part of your new normal, I hope that this video was able to reassure you. And that is my hope. So as you're thinking of starting your application as soon as possible, it only takes just a few minutes of your day to be assessed uh, for the study pathway or for direct immigration. So kindly click on the link in the description right now. And uh, after you've submitted your information, I'll be contacting you to discuss your options. All right. So thank you once again for taking the time to join me today and i trust that you are able to learn something today for your questions feel free to contact me at hank at enhancedvisa.com that is hank at enhancedvisa.com or leave a comment down below all right so this has been hank Bedwell, and i'll see you again in our next video bye